David Kahn here with another question from the Question Bank. We're looking at topic 8.1, energy sources and wind turbines. We have uh, air with a density rho and speed v passes through a wind turbine with area A. Deduce that the kinetic energy of the air passing through uh, per unit time is given by this expression. And the kinetic energy per unit time is basically the power, but we want to show that the power of the wind turbine is this. So here's our wind turbine, three blades, and they cut out an area like that. Now if we draw the column of air that passes through there, we can get an expression for the volume of that air. Uh, it's simply that area times this distance. Now, it's the wind that's moving through the turbine with a velocity v. So in a unit time, it moves a distance vt. So the volume, capital V, is equal to the cross-sectional area times little case, lowercase v, velocity, times time. That's the volume of the air that passes through in a unit time. We want the volume because the volume can give us the mass. The mass is just the density times the volume. And that's going to be rho a v t. And we want the mass because the mass is going to help us find the kinetic energy available in that column of air. That's 1 half m v squared. Uh, substituting in for the m that we just found, that's 1 half rho a v t times v squared. These two v's velocity are the same v, so they combine to form v cubed. And we can divide by t over here to get kinetic energy per unit time equal to 1 half rho a v cubed, which is what we were given. In the next part, we're asked to use that formula that we just derived uh, in a scenario. We have air with a constant density is incident at a speed of 9 meters per second on the blades of a wind turbine. The turbines are each length 7.5 meters, uh, and the air passing through the turbine doesn't change direction. Immediately after getting through the blades, the speed of the air changes. It's now 5 meters per second, so it slows down. We've extracted kinetic energy from it. And after passing through the blades, the density reduces to a new value, or excuse me, the density increases to a new value. Uh, overall, the turbine and generator together have an efficiency of 72%. We want to use this information to calculate the power extracted from the air by the turbine. That's kind of a complicated question for two marks, uh, but one thing that we can use to save us a little time is to recognize that we're looking for the power that's taken out of the air, not the power produced by the turbine. Uh, so the efficiency doesn't come into play yet. It'll come into play in part two, we can assume. Uh, but we don't have to deal with the efficiency. We just have to find the change in power available in the air. We start with a certain amount of power given by uh, 1 half times the initial density times the cross-sectional area of the blades times the uh, initial velocity cubed, and we'll take away uh, the final power available. That's the final density times the cross-sectional area times the final volume cubed. Typically, you would expect a change in anything to be final take initial, and that's true in this case, too. Uh, I've swapped it around just as a little shortcut because we expect the power available to reduce as the velocity reduces. Uh, so this way we're going to wind up with a positive amount of power extracted. Um, you could leave it as a negative and explain that that, is, that negative sign is telling us that the power is leaving the air. Either way would be fine. Um, at the same time, though, we don't know the cross-sectional area of the blades. We just know the uh, radius. So that cross-sectional area is going to be pi r squared. Combining like terms, uh, we have a 1 half, we have a pi r squared, and leaving behind what's different, we have an initial density 
an initial volume cubed, or excuse me, velocity cubed, and an, a final density, and a final volume cubed. So that's one half pi times 7.5 meters times the initial density 1.2 times the uh, initial velocity 9 cubed take away the final density 2.2 times the final velocity 5 cubed uh, punch that into your calculator and you get 53,000 watts. That's quite a lot of work for two marks, but there you have it. Uh, fortunately for you, the next question is pretty easy for one mark. We want to know the electrical power generated. The wind turbine takes the energy from the wind, uses the turbine and generator to uh, convert it to electricity, and that power available is simply 72% of the original power available, or the power that we take out of the wind. And that works out to 38,000 watts.